Well, I am back home from going to the record shop, and like I said, this finally came, Queens of the Stone Age, Songs for the Death, the Vinyl Me Please issue, the reissue that was the first time with it being reissued minus the original release, which I have seen them. I have seen them at shows and at fairs, but they cost way too much. Just way too much. So, they released this, and pretty much after that, they used the same plates. The same plates they used to make this, they made that on the regular black vinyl. So, it's the same plates, and it looks like it has has a bit of a tear, but I'm gonna put, I'll be putting this in another case. I'll keep the outer wrap, and then just, because this, even if this was good quality, I wasn't strong enough. It's not strong enough just to protect it. So, this issue now is very hard to find. And, as a, and finally, there was one on eBay for a decent deal. I had some money, so I thought, might as well treat myself after the shitty year we've had. Especially he with here in Melbourne. Yeah. But I treat myself to something really good, which is a brand new, unopened copy of this album. And this is does sound, I think, a little better than the reissues, they weren't done at Palace. This was, and that's a really good pressing plant, so that's why this is pretty, it's a good version. I didn't mind not getting the Gorillas one, that one's crazy money. This one, finally managed to get a good price on it, so unopened, and it was here in Victoria, so why not get it? So let's try and cut it, so let's see how it goes. So, See, you sort of cut it at the side. It's a weird way to cut it. There's a tear already at the bottom. Maybe I'll just open it from the tear because, as you can see, there's a bit of a, uh, show you. It's a bit of a tear. Uh, I'm gonna show you the. Hopefully, in the video, it doesn't show it as reversed. But if you can read that. That's what that says. And on the back has some just a bit of the back. I believe that comes out okay. Um that's pretty much it. So, I might just open up the tear, because then I can slide it back in, and then put this in a good cover. So I might just, I might just do that. So... Let's just find the seat. One that's already broken. Yeah, it's a different way to open it. Usually you're supposed to get it from the top, but it's already torn at the bottom, so I might as well just use that. Use that tear, because that's eventually going to break. Yeah, some people will hate that I'm opening this up, but you listen to this thing. <laughs> Unless it's... Oh. So, I think that should be a bit of a messy cut. A bit slow. Yeah, I use these scissors just 
they're not overly sharp, they're just enough to open. Alright. Here we go, so we can slide this on out. there. Alright, so this would just slide out. I'll still keep the sticker and everything, but the thing is it's already got a bit of damage. Nope. Yeah, there's a tiny bit of damage there, I ex as the guy said. So this is a little OB strip that comes with it. And inside, uh, if you want to make the cocktail, the cocktail drink. <laughs> Man, this uh, this will be an interesting cocktail. I'll try it. I don't, I don't make much alcohol, but who knows? I might fiddle with trying to make it. So I'll stick this and that there. Um, cover itself is in great shape. Tiny bit of ring wear. Boy, that is heavy. Also, good shape. Oh, it's good. And it's got a shiny Vinyl Me Please. Uh, you can see it. Nice and shiny. And this is heavy. Very thick. Got the die cut. And I gave you that. Back. Bonus or what? And I'll put those away. This is the inside. And now the inside. Oh wow. So that's what you get. I'm guessing this thing is the same as the uh, CD. And really it on both sides. I'll open one of them. Oh wow. That is looking beautiful. I cannot wait to play this. This is going to be amazing. I'm going to blast this thing. There. Oh, that's the die in the back too. Good die cut. Yeah, so that thing is, this thing's finally free from its sleeve. And it's going to be played, because I play my records. Pretty much it. And if I show you that again, there it is. So that is the Vinyl Me Please edition. So hopefully, if you can track one of these down, I do recommend it because I have listened to one on, I have listened to a friend's copy. So it is so it is really good sounding. Really good sounding. So now that I have my own finally I can hear this in great great vinyl quality and just rock the hell out after this year we've had. So 
So, if you like, comment, like, comment, favorite, subscribe, all the u usual YouTube stuff. So, and uh, see you in the next video. Keep spinning that vinyl.